In this video, we're turning a cheap router into a wireless range extender and a network switch, all wirelessly, so no Ethernet cables needed. This is perfect budget solution for expanding the network for smart home and to reach dead spot in your home. We will replace the stock firmware on this cheap router with OpenWRT firmware, which is a free, powerful operating system for routers that unlocks a ton of extra features. So here's the plan. Your main router is on one side. The OpenWRT router goes on the other. OpenWRT router connects to your main Wi-Fi, and all your devices in other rooms that connect to the OpenWRT router will act like they're on the same network, sharing internet and local access seamlessly. You need an OpenWRT compatible router. I'm using this model that I've got from the used hardware store for $5. Check the links in the description for the guide on flashing OpenWRT and verifying compatibility on the official OpenWRT GitHub page. Here's how I flashed mine. Remember, every router is different, so check the documentation for yours. First, power on the router and connect your PC or laptop to it via a LAN cable using port 1. Then, I'll download the firmware for my router model. After downloading the file, turn off Wi-Fi on your computer for the entire process to avoid IP conflict. Next, access the router through its default IP address and login using the default credentials. This information can be found on the sticker at the back of the router or easily found online with a quick search. Then simply flash it from this section. Now wait as the flashing process can take some time. Now, if everything went well, the router should be flashed successfully with OpenWRT and can be accessed using this default IP address. Let's set up a password. If you're finding this guide helpful, take a moment to like this video and drop a comment with any questions. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to stay updated on more smart home tutorials. On a fresh installation, connect your PC or laptop to the OpenWRT router using a LAN cable and use port 1. Open your browser and go to this IP address. This is the default OpenWRT address. First let's do some cleaning, like deleting and used interfaces, firewall rules, and default Wi-Fi configs. In the Interfaces tab, remove those and used entries. Keep only the LAN interface. In Firewall, clear related zones to the entries we deleted. In Wireless, remove both default SSID. Click Save and Apply. This gives us a clean router to work on. Now set the router's LAN IP to a different subnet than your main router to avoid IP conflict. In my case, my main router is using 192.168.2.254, so I will change OpenWRT to something like 192.168.10.1. I will put more examples in the description. Fill the rest of the settings.
It's also crucial to disable DHCP, because this router will only work as a bridge. Save and apply. Now that we've changed the router's IP range and turned off its DHCP, we'll temporarily lose connection to the router. Don't worry, we just need to reconnect manually. Here's how to do it. Since this is the new IP for the router, I'm picking this IP for my computer. This way, both the router and your computer are on the same network and can talk to each other. For the default gateway, just enter the router's IP address. Once that's set, you're good to go. Now you can reconnect to the router's new IP address. Next, we'll connect the OpenWRT router to your main Wi-Fi. If your router supports dual-band Wi-Fi, both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, you might be able to connect and repeat the faster 5 GHz signal, depending on the router model. Not all routers can do this, the model I have does. I will pick the 5 GHz, scan and choose your main network. To repeat the 5 GHz, it's recommended to use a channel like 36 in main and open WRT routers. Here is a look at my main router. This alignment is in some cases crucial for stable and working bridging. Use the Wi-Fi password to connect. Set firewall zone to LAN. Double check that your operating frequency matches the main router Wi Fi network you're connecting to. Then save and apply. After connecting to your main Wi Fi, a new interface called W1 will show up under Interfaces. Click Edit. We're going to change the W1 to a static IP address. This means we'll pick an address manually so it doesn't change. Choose an IP that's outside your main router's DHCP range, or just make sure the IP you choose is not already in use in your main router. It's highly recommended to reserve that IP in your main router settings later to keep it permanent. Set the DNS to your main router IP address. Then save and apply. Test internet connectivity with the diagnostics tool. This means that our OpenWRT router is connected to the internet. Now to make the Wi-Fi and the LAN ports work together like one single network or as a bridge, we need to install an add-on package. Go to System then Software. Update the list. Search for this package and install it. After it finishes, reboot the router. Once rebooted, go to Interfaces. Add a new interface. Name it to Bridge. Set protocol to Relay Bridge, which is the add on we just installed. 
set the IP address to the one we chose for the W1 interface. Select both LAN and W1. Save and apply. Now that the bridge is ready, it's time to set up the Wi-Fi network that your devices will connect to, allowing the router to function as a Wi-Fi extender. Go to Wireless and click Add. Select the same band you use to connect to your main router, either 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz. Double-check that the operating frequency matches that of your main router's Wi-Fi network. Set the mode to access point. You have two choices for the name of this new network. Use the same name as your main Wi-Fi. This lets your devices switch between routers automatically, like you're just using one big network. Or use a different name. This helps you know when you're connected to the extender. I will use the first option. Set the Wi-Fi name. Set the network to LAN. Set a password for this Wi-Fi network. Since I chose the first option, I need to set the same password as my main router. Then click Save and Apply to finish. Finally, switch your computer network settings back to DHCP. Now it will get an IP address directly from your main router through the wireless bridge. And right away, my computer will get internet access through the main router, since I'm connected to the OpenWRT router, which is acting as a network switch. Notice how devices are already connecting to the extender and receiving IP addresses from the main router. And that's it. You've just turned a cheap OpenWRT router into a wireless range extender and a LAN switch, all without using a single cable. I have tested this for smart home, gaming and streaming. All worked flawlessly. You can use as many OpenWRT compatible routers as you want, and put them in other rooms using the same method. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content and updates.